My name is Christy Chambers. I am the Stroke Chest Pain Coordinator here at Ogden Regional Medical Center. My name is Karen Hill, and I'm the owner of the Timberline Restaurant. I am the one that gets to pay special attention to specific disease process patients. So stroke patients, chest pain patients, all of our acute coronary syndrome patients and make sure that they are getting the standard of care that is current evidence-based practice. A year ago, March 5th, I had a heart attack and I had open heart surgery and I'm all better and feeling great. A lot more common than people think. It is definitely a myth that heart disease, heart attack is, is a man's disease. We watch it on the movies where the man clutches his chest and falls to the ground. With women, it's, it's more common. Actually, heart, more women die from heart disease than breast cancer, all cancers combined, and Alzheimer's disease combined as well. So it is the number one killer of women. Absolutely, absolutely. And it's probably all in all typical. So the, the chest pain, the complaints of, I feel like I've got an elephant sitting on my chest or I've got a belt tightened around my chest, that chest pain and tightness is still relatively common in women. The problem is that is such a distinct sign that both men and women recognize that as a, as a critical problem that they need help immediately with. Unfortunately, women more than men tend to have what we call atypical or subtle signs of heart attack. And this can be extreme fatigue. This can be cold sweats. This can be um, epigrastic or, or stomach pain. This can be a lot of different, more subtle signs that just kind of nag on. Maybe the pain isn't as intense. Um, it could be in an arm, one or the other arm. It could go up into your neck or your jaw. It, it just can display in women slightly different. And so women are notoriously care providers and we care for everyone else and we tend to put our signs and symptoms to the side and say, oh, I've got to get, you know, I can't go in and deal with this now. I've got to get the kids taken care of. And so we tend to wait and we don't immediately call 911 like we should. Well, I went to church out to Pleasant View and I started having pain right here on my, right here. And it kind of would go up into my neck a little bit, but I kept thinking, oh, that doesn't feel very good. So after church, my daughter had her neighbor come over and he said, I think you should probably go up to the hospital and be checked. I think we really have to just listen to our own bodies. And if we feel like this is something that I have never had before, then we need to just call 911 and get the ambulance there because if time is heart muscle, every second counts. And so if we can get the care that we need immediately, we're going to survive that heart attack without as much heart damage and, and continuing heart failure problems throughout the rest of our lives. I didn't know. I just knew when I was in church it was hurting. And then uh, afterwards it didn't go away. It was just stayed. So when I got in the car and was driving, it was still there and it started getting worse and I thought I think I'm in trouble I was going to stop at the fire department and I thought oh by the time I tell them what's wrong I better just keep driving <laughs> <laughs> extremely important and that's something that we can't modify we call risk factors modifiable risk factors or non-modifiable risk factors and family history our genetics we can't do anything about but we can sure investigate and know that that puts us in a higher risk category if we have siblings and parents that have also had heart disease or have died from heart attacks mm -hmm. every every minute counts I cannot overemphasize that. When, if we can catch a heart attack within the golden hour, even 90 minutes, we have skilled cardiologists, interventionalists that can go in, we can get patients into the cath lab, we can get those arteries opened up, and we can get stents placed 
to reperfuse that heart so that that heart muscle doesn't die. And so it, it does. Every, every second counts. But I never had pain on this side or on my arm or anything, just right there. That was all the pain I had. And uh, Dr. Graham said that this is, that was the artery was completely clogged. I don't know. It was, uh, it was just exactly a year, almost to the day that my husband had passed away. So it would have been very, very hard for my family. And that's one thing the hospital took such good care of my family. They were really consoling them and talking to them and helping. I have lots of energy and I have to keep all my body parts good because I have this brand new heart. <laughs> just don't drive to the hospital. <laughs> I just think women work so hard and care for our families and we raise our kids and we think of this, you know, this retirement or this joy of playing with grandkids and if we don't take care of ourselves our quality of life isn't going to be there. Call 911 and take care of ourselves. Eat right, exercise, do all those things we know we're supposed to do. And if we have pain, atypical pain, subtle signs and symptoms that are just not, doesn't feel right, call 911.